Hi, I'm Eric from Mirror Escape. A lot of people are wondering, how does Arcana work when you're playing in person? So we figured the best way to show you would be to play in person. So we threw together a little one-off session to kind of demonstrate how it all works. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to join our Discord and ask me personally. I'm in there about 20, 28 hours a day. So I'll be there if you need anything at all. Enjoy. Let's roll. So um, our last session ended as our heroes entered into a, an old dilapidated dungeon that they've heard has items that might help them achieve their goals. So you had just gone into the dungeon and you found a little passage amongst some rubble and you climbed in and then you found a safe place to spend the night and then you sealed the door up afterwards and camped safely overnight. Now you're all well rested sitting around a fire and it's up to you what happens next. All right. Why don't we go... Oh, so did we already search the area? Yeah, so you searched this area last night when you came in and it was just um, old crates that are broken and, and, and mildewy and there's nothing of value in this room okay. whatsoever. So then let's go back out. Yeah? Nothing in the crates? No, so these are all smashed up and it's just like, it looks like just a, a, a storage room from a long time ago that hasn't been used in a hundred years. Um, and, you know, some debris had covered up the entrance so well that people hadn't even bothered coming in here. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, unseal that door. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Let's do it. Um, I should probably go first since I'm paladin. Okay. So we'll drop up in there. And did we, how did we seal the door? So you just kind of put some boards over it so and just... then propped some rocks behind it. So you've kind of made like a makeshift door that can only be removed from the inside. Cool, so we can just open it up then. Yeah, so you want to right. take a couple minutes to kind of pull away the rubble yeah, and remove the doors. Yeah, pull away the rubble, open the door. Okay, great. There you go. So now you should see like a little crumble, yeah. crumbled wall that you can get, kind of crawl through and get back to the main hallway. Great, so we'll do that. And come out into the main hallway. I am following you. Yes. Closely and carefully well. behind. Um, what's, Keeping um, an eye out for anything suspicious. All right, so you're kind of like, you slowly enter the hallway, and you've got your, your spidey know. senses are, 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 are alert. I'm looking around. I'm about 10 feet behind him. Okay. So in this room, there's a single torch to the right side of a door that illuminates yes. the area. But it's still very dark. It's still very damp and dreary. Is there anything... So we in can there, see. in the corners. Yeah. Um, why don't we... Uh, who's at? Uh, you asked, why don't you roll me a perception check, please? So you're going to want to roll a d20 and then add your perception modifier to it. Okay. D20. D20 is right there. Okay. All right, so you roll a perception check. 17. That's good. Great. So you look around the room. And you, you, you see some red streaks on the floor. Mm -hmm. And then upon closer examination, it looks like someone dragged bodies <gasps> repeatedly. There's, there's different color, but this is like a, a blood stain that goes down the center of the hallway and through that, and through that opening that you can't quite see through yet. Okay. Oh. So the opening at the end, the archway? Yeah. Um, and there's a door on the left, right? Right, so there's a door on the left with a torch to the right of it. Yeah. So I'm going to go over and inspect the door. It's ajar? It is slightly ajar, but not open. You can't see through it. It's kind of just like off the hinge, a little bit broken. It looks like it hasn't been like easily opened or closed in a long time. Okay. Like the, the, it looks like it's swollen from, from water, from dampness. All right, I'm going to try to open it. All right, so you grab it and go ahead and give me a strength check. All right, so strength is 
this is plus three. So I'm going to go and roll. Oops. Thirteen. Sixteen. All right. So you grab the door and you give it a really good yank and the entire door just comes off the hinges. The, the hinges were barely holding on and you pulled it hard enough. You actually stumbled back a couple of feet because you just pulled it so much harder than you needed to. Awesome. So I can see, I have 60 feet dark vision. Can I, what do I see in there? If I there you go. Yeah, Ooh. Nice. So as, as you open the door, you can kind of see, you see into it, it's very, very dark in here. The only natural source of light seems to be uh, at the bottom of this well, right in the middle of the room. There seems to be a natural glow coming out of it, and that's illuminating the area. But the, old, the whole area is, is covered in moss and mildew, and it's, it's damp, and it's, it's just, it, it feels gross, and it smells gross. Okay. Mm. Suspicious. Um, well, I think we should probably... Considering there was blood... Ooh, and there's through. coffins in there. Yeah. That um, is going to be not great, but we should probably... Like we should do it. We should do it anyway. Yeah. Do it, right? Let's sure. go Check in there. Let's see. Let's All right, go. I'll go first since I'm the strongest. Good in that well. I'm going to... I'm gonna go in. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just gonna step inside the door. Okay. Oh, you know what I can do? Oh wait, hold on. Is I can put off a minor illusion so this... inside to see. We're okay. So we rip the door off. So yeah. you guys rip the door off. Um, yes. Our dragonborn paladin is right at the edge of the door. He's looking in. He sees the moly dilapidated room with some coffins and a glowing well in the center providing some light. So obviously we're going to go check out the well. Yeah. I'm going to just... Sorry, you were going to do... Uh... I was uh, I was going to cast a minor illusion in there to just lure out like anything. So I'm going to move over closer yeah, okay. to the door. I'll get out of your way. And I'm going to... Create the illusion of like a little bunny rabbit hopping through the room, looking really cute. Ooh, and that's perfect. Yes. So, for any monsters, just a little bunny rabbit that yes. hops towards the well. All right. So out of the ether, a little tiny rabbit illusion appears in front of Tyria at the door, and then hops, 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 hops through the room, but nothing happens. Oh, okay, cool. I think it looks pretty safe. Okay. No one went for the bunny. So. Does anything happen? Nothing happens. Okay. So I'm okay. going to go in. Oh, you're going in? Go ahead. I mean, you can go if you want. Okay. I'll go in. As soon as she walks in the door. Oh, no. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Nobody, nobody had. Oh, go ahead and put it inside. Okay. So nobody had noticed a slightly different colored panel on the other side of the door. Oh. Oh. And as soon as you walked in. A, uh, it falls. A sp uh -oh. spikes. These these oh, uh, a, a, a no. metal oh. saw shoots up out of the ground and does one d six of damage to your feet. Ouch. So your feet oh. it just cuts right through them, and your, your your feet are all cut up, and you'll be limping for the rest of our journey. Oh, oh so no! And you've taken three hit points of damage as well. So right mm. here, uh, hit points. Um, where are you? Oh, yeah. yes. And you guys hear a scream as soon as she walks in. Oh, the gosh. No. Great. And she says maybe something to warn you guys that <laughs> yes. there's a okay. spike trap. It's already, it's already been sprung, right? They're not like rotating around and stuff. It's already been sprung, but I would still avoid stepping yeah, on them at all costs. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to avoid step across the spike traps towards the rightmost front coffin. Sure, go ahead and just uh, roll me better than a four with a, with a, an acrobatics. With a... D20. Acrobatics, yeah. better than a four? Better than a four. Oh, just to make know. sure you don't fall over your own feet. 
I have a plus zero. <laughs> um, so what? And it is oh. a 13. Eight. 18. 18. 18. Nice. So not only do you walk past them, you do a little a little spin, add a little flare to your movement as you wow. as as, as you limping. as you dance past the spikes from the ground. Sweet. So you are inside now. Okay. Terry is outside, and uh, you, you're on the ground a little bit. You're just now getting yourself back up to your feet. You're learning how to like you're you're figuring out how to walk. You're bandaging up your feet so you can proceed, but you are not feeling that great about your decision. To <laughs> blast through doorways oh, right. without yes. checking in. Right. So she's at half speed or something. She's at half speed. Terrain? Yeah, she's at half speed. She's difficult okay. terrain, but okay. beyond that, there is a little bit of rubble on the other side. So you've right. daftly maneuvered outside of that, but now you're standing next to a coffin. Right. And then, uh, what's your perception? Uh, my perception is. Um, is... Right here, plus, plus two. two. Okay, so you just can't really hear anything because you're still throbbing with pain. There's nothing that you noticed. Mm. Oh boy, does it sound good for me? <laughs> <laughs> are you? What are you doing now? Are you staying outside? I think I'm gonna stay outside for a minute. I'm just gonna wait this out. <laughs> thanks for your help. Yeah, so, so the two of you are in this room, and you hear a. I'll keep an eye on the door coming from outside yeah, after, and and because on from from Tyria's point of view, she's just hearing an oh yes, oh, I did. Oh, oh. Yes. No okay. Thanks. Okay. I am going to open up. Hmm. <laughs> this always scares me. Uh, actually, I'm going to proceed up. There could be treasure in these coffins, or probably going to be not, nothing good in there. Mm -hmm. So we could inspect the well. You can inspect the well. Well, maybe I look at the coffin, or I should inspect the well. Like, where do you think? I don't know. I, mean, I, uh, I did. At, at, at this point so in time, at I this point in time, well. she's not hearing you that well. Right, because she's throwing no, pain. She's no, no. I'm Tyria's outside the door, and unless oh, you're, right. you're, you're inside, unless you're holler, yeah. unless you're hollering at T Tyria, she's not you're, here. No, no, no. You're I was thinking you. Own. What is your your perception? You have a plus I'm two. Like two, so you can do that. Mm. I'm gonna go. I'm going to open up the coffin. Okay. With the one, the one that you're right next to. Lifting up. What's that? The one that you're right next to. Yeah, the one I'm right next to. All right, go ahead and roll a strength check. Roll a strength check. Yeah. Um, strength is, I can see this, plus, plus an eight. As you're looking at the coffin, so I'm going to go ahead, you can still roll, but as you're looking at the coffin, from behind you, you hear just the scrape of something against cement. Wow. Or rocks, rocks and gravel. 14 plus 8 14, yeah. So you just, you, you take the, you take the top of the coffin lid, mm -hmm. and you just rip it up, and then... Oh, just the most putrid smell you've ever had, and there's just decrepit bones and Ew. and and, and, and ah. the, the smell of something that's not seen the air for two hundred years, and and, oh. and, mm. and, and just bones. But there doesn't seem to be anything particularly spectacular okay. about that. Okay. But you do, and you don't know. It might be her dragging herself up to her feet, but you do kind of hear the sound of of something pulling against rocks. Mm, it's not good. Pulling against That's rocks. All right, we need to check out the well and then yeah. get the hell out of here. Can it be? And is that a, so that's just an alcove, that's not a... Yeah, it, it just looks like at one point in time, maybe there was a shelf Something there. there with some potions or whatever else it might have been. This is a very strange room. It looks like this might have been where they, their water source for this area was probably here. So maybe there was some, some jars there that they okay. would transport water in. But right now it's just completely decrepit. All right. So, Should I check out the yeah, well? Yeah, check out the well. Okay. I'm so still gonna... waiting outside. <laughs> I don't go inside. No, just inside. inside it. You just go okay. next to it. So what, what are you doing exactly? I am looking inside of 
the well. All right, so as you crawl over to the well, grab onto the side of it, you pull yourself up, and you look into the well, and oh, the skeleton gosh. grabs your face oh, no. with all of its might oh, no. and does not okay. let go. So the skeleton so. performed a, 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 what's called a surprise attack. Okay. Which means that they did damage right away because you didn't investigate or perceive anything I mean, happening. You should be I... looking for... So, oh. you always want to check it out. You're having a bad I'm, not, night. I'm having so a very bad So this night. skeleton <laughs> grabs oh, under your face and literally oh, there he uses is. uses your skull to pull himself out of this oh, well. No. Oh no. Shoot. Oh. Could I use my blade work? Right now you can't do anything because you just got your face stabbed by a skeleton which let's do a uh What's your armor class? What's my... 12? 12. 12. Okay, so he pulls up and he grabs you and you pull yourself away before okay. he does any serious damage to you. Okay. But he's pulled, like grabbed onto your hair and used it to pull himself out of the well. <laughs> Great. Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah. So now this skeleton is, is like up and he's like coming towards you. Okay. And what I need everyone to do is go ahead and roll me a d20 for initiative. Okay. okay. All right. I got a four. All right, so uh, the skeleton who just grabbed your hair and pulled yes. himself out with it, as he was getting to the top of it, he kind of stumbled forward and you were standing there waiting to attack. Okay. So he's about five feet in front of you. Yes. Or like two feet in front of you, probably. He's like really right in your face. Okay. And uh, you get the first attack opportunity. Um, I right. would... There we go. I remember he's undead. So certain spells That's work against him. right. So I'm thinking maybe I should do a thunder... Blow his bones away. <laughs> thunder wave? Or you can... Or I can... Yeah. I think I want to do a thunder wave. You want to cast thunder wave? Yeah. All right. Is that saving for me or is that a uh, cast for you? Can I see the thunder wave card? Yes. Please? Thanks. All right. So, uh, okay, great. Here you go. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and cast it and I'm going to do a constitution saving throw. All right. So you like summon this loud thundering energy between your hands and just unleash it. Yes. And in the tiny room that you're in, it just echoes back and forth and it hurts oh, him God. and it hurts the skeleton. It does not hurt Tyria, who's outside of the room, but you, you will need to do, you will need a constitution saving throw. Um, what was, what's your spell save? Because I like to sit outside and wait. Spell save. Should be uh, this. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let me see your card again. Uh, Thunderwave. Right. Um, I, I figured because it is a small room. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. why it's did I do worse. that? <laughs> right, so I failed. Uh, go ahead and do a 2d8. Two, two yeah, 2d8 damage. And Grant, you need to get higher than a 12 constitution than saving 12. throw. And I'm just hanging outside. You outside have just, yeah. you're outside and you heard one of the loudest, most like yeah, unexpected 19, 19, sounded. So. I have right, six. So you take half damage and I just from 2d8. I have six. Right, so I need you to, to roll the d8 twice. Oh, d8 twice. Should I come in there or and not eight. yet? You got an eight? Okay. Yeah. So you've done eight damage to the skeleton and four damage to Grant. <laughs> oh, sorry, Grant. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's... All right. So after that thunder wave, yes. Grant's character is kind of like holding their ears and they're in pain, <laughs> and Little the skeleton, the skeleton gets thrown back ten feet and kind of crumbles to the ground, okay. and it slowly gets back up, and it uh -oh. doesn't really care who it attacks, so it's going to come right over here. Uh-oh, Grant. Does it get to attack, though, if it was thrown back? 
Yeah, it takes half a movement, half its movement speed to get back up. Okay. And he still has 15 move. So he's gonna go ahead and crawl over to Grant and he reaches behind him and pulls out a short sword and oh. stumbles towards you and takes a swing. What's your armor class? Jeez. 16. <laughs> And as he swings, you kind of like accidentally fall out of the way and he clinks the sword next to you. Excellent. Oh. In the back corner of the room, a skeleton bursts out of one of the coffins. Oh, here we go. <gasps> oh no. Here we go. And he slowly lumbers behind oh. this character right here. That's behind you. You but ready for the last? He took his action to, to, to pull himself yeah, to out of the thing. There. And then you hear a <laughs> and another skeleton pulls himself out of the well. Out of the well, man. Out of the well, it uses like well all, all of its movement speed and it heads towards her character. Okay. All right. At this point, I think I need to come help my friends. All right, so, so it, is, it is indeed Ty uh, Tyria's turn. I have a 30 move, so I'm gonna go. Okay. So I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, and kind of hop over the corner. Okay, so you did notice the spikes? I did notice the spikes. I hopped over into the I corner. Mean, okay, go ahead, and roll, go ahead and roll me acrobatics real quick. And 20? Yep. And then plus your acrobatics. And it's going to be a 6 plus 3. So you try to hop over them, and you kind of don't jump quite high enough. The bottom of your foot clips the top of one of the spikes, huh. cuts your foot, and you fall forward. Wait. So you're on the ground, and you will either have to take the rest of your move to stand up. Okay, I'm going to do that because I only moved 15, so I still have 15 left. I'm going to stand up in the corner. I'm going to recover. Did I take damage? Uh, you did not take any damage from it. It just it just disabled you a little bit. Okay, so I'm in the corner. I'm. Actually, you know what? You did take a little bit of damage. What? <laughs> <laughs> you took two damage. I don't want anyone to think that you're getting special treatment. <laughs> Come on. All right, so I took two damage. So you took two damage, okay, and you help. got yourself up, and you're in the corner right now. And what you can see is... I'm ready to help. Hello, friends. Yeah, I so, to so you, you, you come into the room, and... You see her with a, arrived. you see her kind of missing a patch of hair and bleeding out of her feet. <laughs> you see, you see him keeled oh, over, gosh. covering his ears because really he can't hear, and it just, it's a shit show. Like oh. you've walked into the middle of, of, of I some. Was, I was guarding the door for you all, doing a, doing a great job out there. They can't even hear you. They're ignoring you because they're in help. various kinds of pain. <laughs> uh, Making but, heroic profit. Do you still have an action and a bonus order? action if you want? Do I? I moved as much. Oh, um. You moved 15 feet and then you took half your move to get back up. Okay. Let me go ahead. I have a short bow. Let me go ahead and uh, shoot the skeleton that is right in the middle of the three, the one that is right in front of the well, right in between my two friends. I'm gonna shoot it with a short bow. Okay, great. What's your, uh... It's a D6 plus... So go ahead and roll the D20 first. Okay. 18. All right. So you draw your short bow, and you let it go, and it goes through, and it does, it lands right in the skull of this skeleton. And the skeleton and it does how much damage? Where's the six? These are sixes. Okay. Four, and then it says plus three. All right, Wait, so... it's 1D6 plus... However much is that? Yeah, plus three. Plus three, okay. Five if you, uh, yeah. So five. Shoot it in the head. Four, five. All right, do you want to take any bonus? Thank you, friends. Do you want to take any bonus actions? <laughs> I will uh, disengage. You're not close enough to be in, um, an opportunity uh, oh, yeah. area. I'm, I'm gonna chill then. I'm All right, gonna... so you're gonna chill. I'm okay. Okay, next. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna go in and I'm going to take my great sword and crack it over the skeleton that's right in front of me. So Thordar kind of shakes the cobwebs off. He, he can't hear very well, his ears are ringing, but he sees the skeleton who just barely missed him with his own sword. So he takes his great sword, 
grabs it with two hands and swings mightily at the, at, at the, at the skeleton. That's right. And, oops. I get a 17 plus five. All right, so your, your great sword just whoosh, buries into the skeleton's skull, like splinters it right down here. And how much damage does it do? Oh my god, I got 2d6 plus what? The great sword is 2d6 plus 3. Yes. Yeah, stabbing. Oh. Or slashing, sorry. 2d6. Oh, right. So I got the one. Oh! I have a, on a damage roll, fighting sound. When you roll one or two on damage, get to re roll and take the new roll. Okay, great. Okay. And I got a crap another one. <laughs> All right, and then you add and it to this. A four. So five plus what? Four five plus three. Eight, eight damage. Not bad. All right, and you splinter that skeleton skull, and it just kind of like <laughs> crumbles to the ground. Excellent. <laughs> nice. Yay. Nice. On. You're Yay. Okay, so All there's right. still two of them. There's still two of them, and they're both approaching you. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it's seven. now it's now it's now your turn. Yes. Um. Where? <laughs> um. Gosh. I think what I need to do, I, I just don't know if I use one of my spells, how we can escape safely because of the spikes by the door. Is there another way to exit? It doesn't look like it. If you take your turn to look around the room, yeah, that's yeah. your turn. You're going to get Okay, attacked. and I will get attacked. You, can, right. you also have your dagger or your crossbow. You're, I do, but I have two of these guys. So I'm wondering if I should do one here. of my spells. Do well, it. maybe I'll do... Well, you um, did the last one didn't work out so well. Yeah, so <laughs> maybe I'll just do my light crossbow on the closest so, one. Well, um, when you're this close, or, they, they're okay. going to take uh, half the damage Got if you're it. this close and use Got a crossbow. It. So your best bet right now is to, is to use a dagger. Yes. Okay. Or to disengage and get away from both of them and like recoup on the other side of the room. I would like to use my dagger. All right. So what, which one? Which one would you like to use the dagger on? The one that is to the left of me. All right. So this this skeleton is crawling towards you and, and he's reaching and he reaches out to you and you take your dagger and you stab him in the skeleton hand. Yes. And uh, go ahead and roll a d20. Okay. Um, shoot, that's <laughs> so three. You got a three? So the, the, the skeleton just kind of pulls his hand away, okay. looks at the dagger, and then just like, like you're still holding the dagger, he pulls it away, and then his hand just kind of <laughs> slides off the dagger, he looks, and it's just a little broken, it doesn't bother him much at all. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> why? why? And then, he looks at his hand, Looks at you, reaches for his sword. Great. It comes up and just comes down on your head. Oh! And he just cracks you right in the skull with his sword. Already? And it does. Oh, gosh, I'm already damaged. It does six damage. Uh-oh. And you just kind of get sliced. How much is it? Uh, wait, she's a total minus nine. So you have five hit points left. All right, so Scott, write that down that you have five left. Okay. And then, so he just kind of cleaves you and you get hit good. Like you kind of like go down to your knees and you're all, you're all like foggy and you can't really tell what's going on. And the other skeleton looks at his friend oh, and he decides wow. what he did was a great idea. So he grabs his sword and he comes oh, down on you. But you accidentally fall for it, and he just barely misses oh. you because you roll for it out of the way. Okay. And you're just dazed and confused, but there is a sword kind of like 
it's still kind of buried in your skull, so you're gonna to want to take care of that. That's not good. Oh gosh. And then it's Tyria's turn. It's my turn. Okay, I'm oh. going to do the do short bow again. Yes, do it. Against the same skeleton. Which one are you hitting? Time. The one right in front of the well, the one that's closer to me. Yeah. Okay, so you draw your short bow. Previously hit. And this, this skeleton already has one of your arrows sticking out of it. Yeah, so that's the, you're like, you know what, that works great the first time. You draw your bow, mm -hmm. you roll a d20. And 12 plus, what are we adding anything for that? Yeah, it's your short, your short bow, which is plus 5. Oh, okay, plus 5. So you just, you dead eye it, you look at it, and right next to the other arrow, sinks right into their skull. Excellent. And I'll do a d6. One. One plus what? Plus three. Four? So four. So it just, it, it falls back and it's still kind of like, it's uh, kind of trying to crawl itself oh, back I'm up to its feet. I'm whack it from behind. All right. Nice. So are you going to take any bonus actions or moves? Um. As a rogue, usually a lot of time rogues hide so they can do what's called a sneak attack, which adds a ton of damage and is more like their style. Yes. Good call. I will hide. Okay, so Tyria kind of like sneaks up. So Tyria ducks into the shadows and she crawls around and you can go ahead and move yourself and she hides behind the rubble of the coffin that the skeleton had just emerged from. So Tyria is kind of like crouching in the shadows behind that skeleton. They don't even notice her walk by. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thordar, you're up. You want? Okay, you're next. Um, it's, is it my turn? It's your turn. Um, excellent. I'm going to come up and get behind this skeleton right in front of the well. Oh, and I just shed. Yes, and whack him over the head. With my great sword. Yes. So because he's distracted, this Thank is a God. sneak attack, and you'll get advantage on it. Excellent. So you get to roll the, the d20 twice. Excellent, Ooh. excellent. And I got a 19 nice. plus 5. 19. Ooh. Let's go ahead and roll it one more time, just in case you got the crit. Oops. Got a... No. Uh, okay. So you go ahead and you take your sword. 19. And you just, in one move, just swoop, and lop the skeleton's head off, and it rolls. <laughs> and it actually flops and goes back into the well. See you, sucker. And the rest of his body crumbles down in front of you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good, good. And then it's your turn. I don't know if you want to do any bonus actions or... Um, if I have a... <sighs> when you hit first little spell slot... I guess that's the same person, radiant damage, laying on hands, that makes sense, no. Okay, great. Um, Shivy, you're in bad shape. Yeah. Things are not going well. I'm in well. really bad shape. Sorry, your yeah. foot is bleeding, your yeah. head is bleeding, your face is bleeding, and you're not feeling well. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm wondering, could I make an escape, because I am aquatic. <laughs> Down the well. What if I jumped into the well? Oh, is that what you were saying? Oh my god. Um, well, the skeletons came from there, probably not. A great I, that's idea. true. What you can do is you can take your action to disengage, which means you can crawl away from the skeleton without taking any additional damage. Okay. And pull yourself into safety and kind of wait in the corner. I feel like I need to disengage. Yeah. Okay, so. At this point, because I am very much. Right. Uh, so, yeah. so Shivy kind of, Shivy kind of like crawls away and she's throwing rocks at the skeleton while she's backing up and crawling away and getting, uh, getting out of range of the skeleton. So go ahead and crawl okay. into the back corner there if you'd okay. like. Okay, I'm calling that way. Okay. Okay, so you've escaped and you're no longer in range. Whew. Thank you. <laughs> All right, the, okay. skele the skeleton's kind of like, like, was watching you and now it turns and it has a new target. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Come and get me, sucker. Comes up to you <laughs> and just stumbles towards you with its, with its sword out and chops down at you. And, and you just 
duck it, and you keep eye contact with the empty skull, and you just go like the Matrix. Ooh, wow. And then it's Tyria's turn. It's my turn, so I'm going to obviously sneak attack this guy. I'm going to come up. Right, I'm going to move like five feet right behind, and um, I guess my bow and my sword are the same. Well, yeah. So, I'll, um, but you know what? I'm close enough to do a sword, right? I'll do a sword. Yeah, so the sword's the move, the sword's the move for close combat, and you're also going to add a d6 for the sneak attack if you hit. Yes. Okay. So go ahead, and you get to uh, roll with advantage. You get to roll two d20s. Okay. Sixteen. Nice. All right. So you you sneak up and you like slowly appear behind the skeleton and you kind of ready your knife. And how much damage do you do? Ooh, so I get two d six because it's a sneak attack. Two d uh, two d six plus three. So you go ahead and you take it and your sword and you can just perfectly place it and you lop off his head as well. Yeah. Wow. Crumbles to the ground. Wow. Nice. And the room gets quiet. You kind of almost still hear an echo, or maybe it's just the ringing in your ears. Yeah. But From it's. Alex's thunder wave. Spell. <laughs> thunder wave is it's a very loud spell. Wave. You know, it was a good thought. All right, so now you're just in this room, and then there's skeletons and a broken coffin and a glowing. Right. Room. Okay, so is there any. Can we search the room for a treasure? Yeah, is there any? Sure. Um, everyone, go ahead and roll an investigation check. Clear this out. Six plus uh, investigation plus three. Sorry, nine. So you kind of look around, you don't notice anything too special. Okay. I got a oh. 18. And then what do I roll? D20, please. Um, 12. Okay, so you guys are kind of looking around the room, and, and you're both drawn to the glowing well. And you kind of peer into the darkness, and it looks like the glowing is actually coming from something at the bottom of that well. Well. Mm. Can we sense how far down it is? Yeah, so you guys take a rock and kind of drop it down. It's about 20 feet down, and you hear a splash at the bottom. Oh, so there's water 20 feet down. There's water 20 feet down, and you, you notice that the glowing is coming okay. from a very concentrated area at the bottom of the well. Mm -hmm. The glowing is coming from a concentrated area. Who, you're aquatic. I am. Now's your chance to jump in there. Although you're a mess, but whatever. Now, is we'll this our you. only way out? What? The only way out of this room seems to be the door that you came in. Right. We need to find the glowing. What are, what's, the, what's glowing down there? I mean, we do need to find out what's glowing down there. Sure, guys. So, do you know what sure. Or, I mean, so, there? Make, sure you, make sure you look at what other items you have that might help you as well. Um, I have, you have I mean, okay, yeah, we could just fish for it. With I have stuff. Oh, wait, I have a javelin. String, but 10 feet isn't enough. 20 feet is not going to be enough. Um, um, Travis clothes, bench, really great sword, chainmail, only some little bad roll, 50 foot of torches, salt rope, rations, water, 50, 50, 50, 50 foot of rope, yeah, That's I have 50 good. foot Wait, of so salt rope, it's 20 feet, it's 20 feet down, right, mm -hmm. and then the water's down at the bottom, like right, so there was a hole. splash at the bottom, okay. it's not oh, I up, see. I see. it's not deep in the oh, water, there's, there's a, a water source at the bottom <laughs> yeah, of the well, yeah, yeah, okay, then, um, we can just, why don't you guys, you want to hold it and I'll go down since I have the most hit points? Sure. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, so as so Thordor kind of down. ties the rope around himself and he gets into the, he realizes that he's a little bit too thick for it. He uh, can't yeah. quite fit in. Oh, okay. he's, about, he's, he's about 300 okay. pounds and he's wearing some, some pretty hefty armor. Okay. Okay, well... So somebody smaller might it fit. It looks like so I might I, be well, the you one should go, that you has to do the job. Well, you should go, because you have only five hit points. You should probably go. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. I've been outside this whole time. And I'll you're our... For the team. 
fee for... So, yes, I'm also very sneaky. Sneak so. on down there. So I'll hold the rope, right. obviously. I'm uh, I need a strength check from you. Okay. And a athletics check from you, please. Is okay. athletics uh, one of your... Yes, it is. Okay. Plus three. So ten plus three. Strength check. Plus good. five. Oops. So an eight, unfortunately. Okay, so... She tie her up, and she literally weighs like nothing to you. Can you press uh, your uh, dice, please? Thank you. She literally weighs nothing to you. So you just like slowly let her down. She just fall like she just goes down like it's her job, and she splashes, and she is about waist high in some water. And there's a glowing object at the bottom, and there's a skull, a skull that right, you just lopped off. off. And then there's like a little stream that seems to go uh, down. A little bit deeper, but it's just like a little opening. You couldn't crawl mm -hmm. through or anything. But it does look like a stream or a river that keeps running through. All right. Okay. Grab so it. So I'm going to reach down and grab the... You just want to grab it? You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. Tyria reaches down and her hands... Like notice something so sharp so she doesn't grasp it. She moves her hands down it and she notices a, a handle. She lifts it up and a glowing sword... Is in her hands. It's not rusty. It looks brand Magic new. Sword. Wow. And it's just, it, it's glowing and it's vibrant, and you're at the bottom of a well, and that's where we'll leave it for now. Nice. The next time we pick up the session, we'll see what the, the sword's all about, and we'll see what else is going on. I love it. Awesome.